me into actually starting a coffee machine business is that I bought that Giorgio machine. It looked like a motorcycle, and they said this is a classic model from the 50s. Three and a half thousand dollars later, I take it home. It did not have any temperature regulation. You had to do what's called temperature surfing to make the temperature work. So boiling water, cooling through the metal, get it just right. And sometimes they make a good coffee, but rarely. Good news is the resale value of those things is very strong. And so I saw this Kickstarter where these two Russian-American guys said, we know how to make a really good espresso with technology. And for five years, I got emails from them saying it's going, it's going, it's going until they ran out of money and then they couldn't do it. Now I replied just as Web, who's the uh, CEO of DPM, had sent out the message saying, we're out of money, it's not going to happen. So he didn't reply. A month later, I sent another email. Turns out he's now living in San Francisco. He comes over to my house with the machine, and it immediately makes good coffee with Thumbtown Coffee. I was pretty impressed. I hired Ray here to um, help me look at the internals, and Steve as well, to decide whether we wanted to buy it. And in the end, we realized that we'd rather uh, just start from scratch and do it the way we want to do it. For example, one of the things that they had done is they had decided to put a Linux computer that they had designed inside the machine. That turned out to be hard to design and expensive, and Ray suggested, let's just use an Android tablet, which is cheaper, gives you a bigger screen, doesn't have any UL issues. So instead of a little screen like that on the DPM, if we had a screen like that, then we could do pressure profiling, we could tell people what's going on with the coffee. And that's when we decided, okay, forget it, we're not gonna buy ZPM worked out a license with Gleb because there were some interesting ideas in there and certainly it's what inspired me in the first place to get into this. Steve Turnage introduced me to Brad. I worked with him to do the chassis and Ray, you started learning all about internals and then it was, yes, I know what I'm going to do and then Furious Design and somehow it all came together in Portland where we started making espresso shots. We had a chassis and we had uh, something or something user interface.